morning, dear friend. <coughs> Today, the 20th of June, the year 2011. And we are on the fifth day of the health retreat in the town, England. This morning, we will wrap up uh, with all of the property of the regular food and vegetable we can use on the daily basis at the source of uh, nutrition as well as uh, medicine to correct whatever the problem, the imbalance in our body because the uh, high limit thing so we can go briefly over real quick and then I will send you the information for this one. Um, in general, the vegetable, especially the juice, when we use the juice extractor, it have a uh, capacity or it have uh, activity to provide the nutrition and the mineral for our body to build up more than cleansing. On the other hand, the fruit it have uh, more activity for provide sugar and uh, cleansing activity and uh, on this list I eat only about 24-25 uh, the most valuable vegetable we can use some it almost um, have uh, available all year round, but some it have to depend on the season. For example, the first one, the uh, asparagus. This is uh, it very good, and this have a warming activity. Usually, it have a it available during uh, the end of uh, spring and summer. Um, it have uh, many activity as you see it can go to the kidney it have uh, anti-inflammatory activity it can go into the circulation system um, it can help for uh, the lung the kidney and uh, also the diabetic especially it's very helpful for the female and now um, a lot of um, cancer center they yield fresh juice of asparagus to treat for cancer too but this is only the fresh one don't yield the can or the tin one mm. no good secondly we have uh, beef as you remember, the other day we have uh, a table of all of the condition we can use the vegetable and fruit for treatment. Carol and beet is the most common, almost on ninety five percent of all the formulary. The reason because it have a neutral activity, it can go into the heart can go to the central nervous system, go to the circulation system. It not only can supply the nutrition, it has a cleansing activity. It helps the liver or the digestive system in general um, as well as it can help for uh, the female um, hormone. It can help for any um, the stagnant or uh, obstruction in our GI tract as well as in the cardiovascular system. The 
first one can you see Could you just clarify for us what you define as B? Okay. Which one? B. What do you define as B? In what category? Oh, what category? that's the the red. The, the B string. The B string. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The sweet one. The next one in the broccoli. This one has have uh, many many um, vitamin and especially it have a high chlorophyll. The only problem with this one is uh, anyone have uh, basida, the big the voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we'll be careful with this one. Otherwise, it's very good and. Um, the new information they can use this one to treat for the urinary tract infection or any tumor, any cancer in the urinary tract, uh, bladder, kidney, uh, something like that. The fourth one is the cabbage. This is very good. One of that specialty that the vitamin U and look like we rarely or never heard about this vitamin. Mm -hmm. The reason because it specialized in the treatment, the healer for the duodenal and the stomach ulcer. So that's why they give the, the name, the abbreviation for ulcer and vitamin U, vitamin U. And uh, it's hard to extract this one, and then because the smell is very stingy when we use it raw. But it's really, really good for people who have uh, the uh, stomach bleeding or also It also goes into many different. Uh, organ system. It can go to the lung, the GI tract, um, it can help for the skin, for external as well as internal. Um, it can help for the varicose, the rheumatoid arthritis, wound, and now they can use that, that the cleansing. It's very strong for cleansing our system when the patient have a chronic disease or cancer. Because the activity is very strong. But can we, do we need to use this as a juice or can we cook? Um, it's, it's all this Whoever can tolerate to that. We recommend to use the fresh juice for the cabbage. Uh -huh. Otherwise, okay, we cook it with the beetroot yeah. and carrot and uh, we drink the broth. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, if we can tolerate the fresh juice, it's better, but it's very pungent, very stingy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. And the fifth one, uh, like this root, it has a neutral activity and it can go to because the neutral um, activity it can go up to help up or any up um, work, um, organ, it can go down, it can provide the nutrition and it can help to extract the toxin out of the body. So it Kind of uh, play the intermediate role in everything. Going to lung, to spleen, to liver, and um, kidney. It can help to remove the stone and the tumor. 
That's why you see one of the formula we talking the other day, we yield the citric mushroom, butter, uh, radish, root, and carrot. On the other formula for tumor and cancer, we use this one and seaweed. Carrot and seaweed together? Yeah, yeah, we will learn about seaweed later on because we have an uh, activity of uh, stringing the tumor on the toilet. And did you say, what did you say to put with the radish? Uh, the other four, four ingredients in the uh, broth, uh, citric mushroom, the bird duck, that we use in the um, Chinese uh, market, uh, in the Korean market. Bird duck, uh, yeah. yeah. Bird duck leaves. And mm -hmm. then uh, carrot and uh, radish. Yeah. Only four of them. Shiitake, S H I T A K I. Yeah, we will go to that later on. Yeah, we will go to that later on. And one of the very good activity for carrot, it can alkali the blood. It have uh, activity for anti-inflammatory antibiotic, and uh, as we always say from the beginning, it can have uh, activity to go to almost every single organ oh. in our body. The sick one is uh, the celery. This one we usually uh, use for cleansing our body too. Or uh, when we change the diet from one to the other. When we eat, you remember about the combination of all kinds of different groups of food. Yeah. When we eat uh, different food, it's far away, so it will kind of, uh, have a problem of indigestion of flatulence. So before we eat the new one far away, we can chew about a um, few slides of celery. It will do the intermediate role. So we, our body will accept and it's not really conflict or it has a problem with uh, the digestion. And this one is a good one for treatment uh, high blood pressure. The next one is cucumber. This one usually we use during the spring, summer, or the fall maximum. We should not use it during the winter because it has a very cooling effect and it has a diuretic. And during the winter, our body needs to preserve energy and minimize the elimination of the water. Uh, but it's really good for the top our body as well as it can go to clean up on the circulation system, the incessant, gastrointestinal uh, tract. Really good to help for lower the blood pressure, especially when we have a dampness on the blood volume is uh, too high. The blood vessel is too thick. The next one is artichoke. This one, we can use fresh one or the dry one. It can help on the lung, the liver, um, the diabetic. The next one 
next one we have a cow. This one usually we use during the fall or the winter to supply the energy for our body as well as help to clean up our upper respiratory tract because uh, when uh, the weather cold, our body, especially the upper respiratory tract, it have a tendency to secrete a lot of the mucus and it becomes congested in the upper respiratory tract. That will be the good environment for the virus and the bacteria to grow up or invade and cause cold or flu or any other upper respiratory tract infection. As well as um, if during the winter our digestive system usually not really strong and if we eat anything too cold too damn um, the chili tract will secrete a lot of mucus to protect itself too so that's why we need to have a cabbage or cow to help to clean up all the, the mucus uh, secretion too much in the GI tract or in the upper respiratory tract The next one, this one usually have during the fall or the summer, uh, the winter too. It helps to boost up the heat and the energy circulation. It helps to create or uh, synthesize blood, uh, clear up all the, the coagulation or stagnancy in the cardiovascular system as well as in the GI tract. Let uh, this one we only should yield during the spring and the summer only. Especially most of us nowadays have uh, the problem with the uh, overweight, over damage, over accumulated of the fluid in our body. So we should minimize using this one during the fall or the winter, especially at dinner time. For the mushroom, we have uh, many kinds of mushroom, um, but the only three good ones, first be the common button, that is the tiny one, it has a long uh, steam, white color. The second one is the flat mushroom. What do you think? What do you use? It's crunchy. Chinese. Yeah, Chinese. Chinese. Mm -hmm. That one really good for clear up on the stagnant in our circulation system. It helps to lower blood pressure. It make uh, it help uh, the kidney, the key for the kidney. And the last one is the uh, suffocate mushroom. Uh, this one is have uh, many good, even though it uh, be classified as cooling or uh, acidic. But when we use this one, probably not abuse that. It have a uh, many positive effect. For example, um, it can lower cholesterol. It can uh, help to clear up all the stagnant the blockage in the circulation system. Um, it can make uh, our lung and our blood become more fluid, more um, 
flow and when it flow around the, uh, the system, it have uh, capacity at uh, increase white blood cell, increase activity of our immune system. So it can help to fight back any infection, not only by bacteria, virus, but also for the abnormal cell growing in the body, like tumor or cancer. Droid. Droid, you're talking. Okay. Yeah, or the mushroom. But the certificate is a strong advance and have that activity. Is it, is it okay to use droid? If it's not fresh? Uh, yeah, it's dry. Because it's fresh or dry, the same thing. If we eat dry, it's better because it will let be. Most of that, except for the citrus, is neutral. But the black mushroom and the common button mushroom, okay, they classify as cooling or mm -hmm. zinc mm -hmm. and acidic. So that's why when we eat dry one, it's better. Secondly, when we cook, we try to cook it at the low temperature, long time and the drier the better. And the mustard green, this one have during the fall and the winter too. Or the, this one, it's really good. Um, as we already talked about the condition of motor disease now. Most people have uh, over damage, over accumulated of fluid, toxin, and stagnant obstruction. So that's why we need to eat more vegetable or fruit. It has a positive, it has a warming function effect. It has a capacity to clear all the obstruction, eliminate all the mucus accumulate in our body. This one is easy. I think we can. But in seeds, you have seeds of the mustard? No. You buy the this one, it have a... Is it well that the one that in Japan is from the sushi? This one, it's the vegetable. It's, uh, I don't know, in the uh, in, uh, bio store. Or usually they have it in the Chinese store, oh not in the Asian. Oh. Yeah, Asian so view this one a lot. Okay. It's a big one. Yeah. yeah, it's a really big one. It you can use that uh, at the steam. Uh, you can use that uh, um, to cook in many different dishes. Yeah. It's so bigger than the, the kale. The kale oh. is small. Let me see, kale. You see, it's small mm -hmm. and the steam is not long. Mm -hmm. But the mustard green, uh, the steam is bigger. It's almost yeah. about oh. two of our finger. Like a broccoli stem. Like a broccoli stem. Uh, thick, yeah, it? about that size. And the lip is big, about two or three oh. size of this one. Oh. Yeah, And it can survive very strongly during the winter. So that's why it's very, very warm, very zen. I don't know why uh, it's easy to plant in uh, the cold weather, but North America 
and uh, Europe, uh, the Asian can plan that can eat that a lot, but look like the Western and didn't know how to take advantage of that one. <laughs> <laughs> With the, um, with the artichoke, is that the globe artichoke or the root artichoke? Mm. Uh, mm. This one? No, no, I'm going back to the artichoke. Mm. Um, uh. We have two kinds of globe artichoke above the ground and mm. the root artichoke. Actually, we can use all three. We can use the leaf, we can use the root, and you can use the, the flower. The flower, we can use it fresh, or you can use it fried, dry. But uh, the lid and the roof, we used to use it dry because it's very bitter. Bitter? Mm. Yeah, it's bitter. It goes directly mm. into your heart and your central nervous system to calm down your mind. And it has a ability to clean up all the, the stagnant, all the, the mucus accumulation. Only the flower, the bud, it's good and sweet. It goes directly into the spleen to help for the blood the circulation and synthesize the new blood cell um, for cancer. But the other one, I don't think you dare to eat it. Stress <laughs> is very, very big. <laughs> and the nice shape family. <laughs> Most of the Westerners abuse this one. That's why we had a problem with big belly and milk that accumulated. It really it good. It have uh, some very positive medicinal effects. But and then because the most of us are abusive, we eat too much. The reason because the first when most of the Western uh, diet eat more animal products. And then it's too zen, it's too high calorie, and it's too concentrate, hard for digestion. That's why they usually combine with all this one to neutralize it. And then slowly, it tastes good, feel good, and most people abuse this one, and then it becomes accumulated for all the damage, on the obstruction and stockman. So, we we should minimize the use this one, especially in the form of uh, liquid. When we cook, we try to cook for as dry as possible. For eggplant, you see, it have a capacity to shrink the tumor, so that's why it's really helpful in. Uh, term of treatment for tumor, cancer, hemorrhoid, and it's leading um, for potato. It's very good for liver cancer because it helps to clear up everything. It has many different um, activity. It goes to many different organs, and the liver is the headquarter uh, responsible for many activities but we need to yield the whole thing the skin of that have a lot of nutrition and mineral in that but most of us waste on the skin we don't use the skin and uh, when we do the when we cook potato most of American, they eat the potato mass, they eliminate mm -hmm. the skin, and then they mix that with the cream, and it, <laughs> it might become more thin, and easy to have uh, the bacterial growth, so they have food poisoning. So this is the, the most danger. But when we cook the whole thing with the skin and we bake it, this is the best nutrition, salt, and vitamin, mineral. Can you cook, uh, all, um, I mean, uh, sometimes I cook the whole one, but with steam, with pressure cook. So I put edited. You steam? Yeah, it's it, okay, it but it's it, 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 uh, 
weekday banner. Yeah, we got the we want the juice in there. Come rain little bit. When you steam, that means it's the absorbed yes, the, yes, yes, water yes. in. For the tomato, um, the problem because uh, now most of us had the uh, issue with liver and kidney. So when we eat this one, it's very good. Again, it have all kind of activity, even though it be classified as cooling and acidic. Mm -hmm. But when we know how to cook, how to prepare that properly, it can have uh, activity when it gets into our bloodstream. it will convert to alkaline all right and as we already learned every single product from the nature is in balance by itself the mm -hmm. nature already mm -hmm. set up that one but for example it have a cooling it have a diuretic it will help to boost up the liver strength it help many different um, activity in our body but because of now, so when it has that, it has to have the other one activity to count the balance. For example, the skin. It has uh, many oxalate, so it can reduce, slow down the flow of kidney because it has activity for increased diuretic, get more fluid, get more substance out. So now the oxalate come in to carry up, counterbalance for that activity to let it flow evenly slower. As well as the flat of tomato, it boosts up the liver too strong. So now the seed of the liver will slow down the liver activity to balance it out. That is in the old time, the nature already set up that. If we eat everything perfectly, correctly, so all that will have activity to counterbalance each other. But nowadays, because our liver overwork, mm -hmm. so the toxin accumulated, it has to work more than any organ, so it becomes weaker. If we continue to use like that, the liver will become weaker and weaker. So that's why we need to eliminate the seed out. Our kidney now have to filter more and more, especially the westerner drink too much water, eat too much meat and sugar and other toxic substance. So now the kidney has to work more. So if we have oxalate in the skin to slow it down, okay, now it makes the kidney have to work more to eliminate the toxin. So that's why now we need to eliminate the seed and peel up the skin. Just take the good activity in the flesh only. And when we cook the tomato, except when we choose it, when we drink fresh, otherwise when we cook, we need to cook it. Um, to make it like a salt, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have, we don't put more water in that. So the same thing like potato, and it will be the same thing for the the eggplant. Three of them, we have to treat the same. The eggplant, we can cut it slide it, uh, divide it into quarter, mm -hmm. not slide, and we dip it in the table salt for about 10-15 minutes mm -hmm. to extract out um, the negative effect of that, mm -hmm. and then we let it dry, and we bake it with olive oil, some herb, and that's it. Don't cook it in water. And when we eat all of this, um, this better we should eat at lunch, don't eat at dinner. 
especially especially during the winter. So we will have a uh, positive effect, medicinal effect, but minimize the negative <coughs> cooling effect. Is it all right to put the um, eggplant into tomato type sauce rather than use water? Because it's a very strong vegetable when you just cover it with oil and grill it or something. For me, it always I can't digest it very well. But can you put it in? Do you still maintain its good properties if you can put it into the tomato tomato sauce? Uh, not usually go together. Right. Yeah. Uh, it because it's too potent already. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we. First okay. and secondly, the taste is not go together. Right. The taste is not go together, it's not good. Mm. And for the pork plate, this one, one of the richest uh, vegetable for all kinds of vitamin and activity. And as we already talking about that yesterday, it's really good for energy during the winter. We got warming, pungent, bitter, and salty. All of this activity will help to boost up the kidney function and supply the energy uh, for the cold weather. It also have capacity to increase digestion, the top on the, the toxic substance remain in our body, especially from the animal product. It also helps to get rid or clean up all the, the milk that accumulated in our body. So we can use this one every every month or we can cook and drink the broth every three months to clean up our system. If we don't have an opportunity to do the fasting for purification. And uh, for the radish, even though when we see it be classified as cooling, because of when we compare it with carrot or uh, with beetroot, it becomes cooling. But by itself, it has a very positive effect at pungent. And it helps to remove all the mucus on the, the stagnant in our body. It also helps to detox our body very good when we want to switch from the meat eater into the vegetarian. This is the best one to clean up our system as well as when we have any chronic condition um, like psoriasis eczema, any liver condition, it's too severe and then it spread out the whole body. We can use fresh root of radish root to clean up our body. This has the other one, it's much stronger, but we should not abuse. That's the, the horse radish. Very, very potent, only one <laughs> tablespoon. <laughs> But if we want to use that one, only one tablespoon, and we mix with this one, that is very potent, very pungent. And is this the, the big white radish? It's not, does it apply to the little red radishes? This, this one, this one, it have uh, two different, actually it have uh, many different ones, depend on the color name, turnip, radish, uh, red radish, black radish, the one with white peel is this one, and the one with black peel. But the one with black peel is usually smaller. That one stronger. The activity more potent. Yeah. What, what about the radishes we get in England? The red ones. The red one, the tiny yeah. one. Yeah. No, that one is not. That one is not radish. They call them different names. Oh right. Yeah, that one not different right. name. That so one is very light activity. So yeah. it's quite hard for us to get those more unusual radishes. So the Japanese one, the long one we had here, yeah. is that that that, that has good <coughs> properties? This have I think um, not the um, I think uh, American 
and strange people. They plan that one a lot. I don't know why English uh, people didn't plan that one. What the Mule, the Japanese one? Uh, no, the rabbit, the the white one and the black one. Right. They have all over it. Every single supermarket. What, in France? Yeah. Only the yellow one. The yellow one is the Japanese one. I think if you go into one of the Chinese, yeah, where they sell all the vegetables. Yeah, because it's only, I think, only some uh, whole food store or the bio store, because yeah. they know the good activity that's what they have. But in the normal supermarket, sometimes they have, sometimes not. I think care for, in France, care for health, yeah. uh -huh. care for health, so and health store health. So it's just got a black, when you peel it, or if, you, if you're not, it's, it's black, but is the flesh inside white? Or it's is it white, yeah, it's yeah. exactly the same thing. Right. It's just the peel outside black, right. and okay. the size is smaller. It's just about uh, 15, 15 or uh, 18 centimeters long. Like a carrot then, size of a carrot really? Yeah, but it, uh, the diameter is bad, it's bigger. Right. Mm -hmm. right. The, the white one is real big. <laughs> But the black one is only about half or one third side of the other one. Thank you. And the spinach. This one really good too. <laughs> but be careful because it's very high calcium and oxalate. So the kidney stone uh, running people, be careful. Otherwise this one very good for all kinds of the vitamin and chlorophyll. Vitamin K. I think there's one kind of spinach, no back spinach, that isn't high in oxalate. What's it called, Julie? No back. Spinach. No back. No back. How, how the lid is small, a big one. Uh, it's very similar to, to ordinary spinach, but it's a particular variety that is, is. I don't know if it's got no oxalic acid or it's much lower in. No back. No back. AC. It, it, it is the same family, it will be uh, the same uh, ingredient, it's just the concentration of more on that. And then the winter squash, this is the, the I, I, I love this one the most, <laughs> the green, the dark green color peel, not the red one. And when we cook this one, we don't waste anything. We use everything from the peel to the seed. We don't, we don't waste anything. It's really good energy, medicinal activity, lot of vitamin. And um did you say, do we get that particular one here? You, you said it's a squash, but it's got a green colour. Yeah. Is, is it green and white on the outside? No, outside is said that we had uh, the red orange colour, yeah, right? Yeah, so it's orange. But the other one, okay, it's dark green. Right. Yeah, it's dark green colour. And the side is a little bit bigger, about one and a oh half, right. another side. Yeah, along right. this, this side. Right. It's, very, it's round, it's not long. Yeah, it's right. round. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, who, where do you, where is that grown? I think uh, from America. Yeah. And uh, from Mexico, from Spain. I don't know, but I saw everywhere. Okay, right. Uh huh. Just because of the size smaller, but people don't like it. People like the big size, but yeah. the big one, okay, it's not really good. The big one is the summer one. The summer one is only about one half or one third. Uh, yeah. Uh, capacity of this one. So it's dark green, but the flesh inside is orange. Yeah, yeah. In, inside it's almost the same, but the texture yeah. is better. The taste yeah. and the content of all the vitamin and the carbohydrate is higher. <laughs> Swiss potato, it is really good too. I used to, before I discovered the chia acid, I used to use the, the winter squat and the 
sweet potato for diabetic patients, for migraine, for any cardiovascular disease, for people with the deficiency in uh, nutrition deficiency, zinc uh, deficiency, yeah, all of that that have uh, many different activities to boost up the immune system, help to increase the blood circulation, the heat circulation. This one similar to the radix. And the last one we have seaweed. Even though it's classified as cooling, but this is one of the most source of vitamin, mineral and have a lot of medicinal activity. You see it can help the blood, the kidney, the lymphatic system, liver, thyroid gland, clean up the cholesterol fat, tumor, nodal, lump, edema, 